Samantha Beckham, also known as Posh Spice of the Spice Girls. She's an international icon of fashion and glamour. Married to soccer superstar David Beckham, the hottest man alive. She has conquered the world, but now faces her greatest challenge yet, moving to Los Angeles. <laughs> Welcome to L.A. Watch as the superstar struggles to fit in. Mr. Chevron, the car, please. I don't know whether to pose or get arrested. Who are you booing? I don't know if this is normal American behavior. Do I get approval? No. This is the DNB. With only three weeks to prepare for her family's arrival. I've got to find a house. Will she win the race against the clock? I've got to find a manicurist. Or crumble under pressure. I reckon this is what Paris Hilton does every single day. think you know Victoria Beckham. I think people probably see me as a miserable pouty bitch. Think again. Can you see my knickers? I don't want to be seen smiling, having fun or eating. Perish the thought. I have no idea why anybody would think that I'm a blow-up doll. Blow up. <laughs> Get your cameras ready and grab your favorite designer bag. Because this show is major. <laughs> Is that major? Major. Major. Major, yeah? Major. How major is that? I think I'm gonna like LA. Victoria Beckham is coming to America. in Madrid doing a photo shoot for W magazine. They always say, my God, David is so handsome. He's gorgeous. He's so good looking. And she's so funny. <laughs> Basically, that means you're a pig with a sense of humor. I love you. We are so excited about moving to America. You know, David and the boys. We love to take the kids everywhere we go with us. and. I think they're just excited to live by the beach for for years to come. The American people in general are so enthusiastic and and friendly. We're really excited. Can't wait. Really looking forward to it. It's gonna be a new life for us. Great life for us. David and the boys are going to stay in Spain because David has to finish the soccer season while I go to America to get everything organised for them. Do you think we're a bit overdressed for this? Oh, a little bit. It's really exciting that I'm setting up this new life for David and the kids, but I hate being away from my home. Give me a kiss. I'm so glad. Hello. Adios. It was really sad. I found it really, really hard to leave this time. Really hard. I walk home, shall I? You'll be all right. Someone will pick you up. in Europe is, is really full on. It's crazy. They're everywhere you go. But we'll see. Maybe it'll be different here. I don't know.
okay, so I guess they were expecting me. Or maybe they thought that there was someone else on the plane. Maybe they thought, like, Madonna was coming into town or something. Did anybody just see that photographer? I am sure it was one of those guys out of NSYNC. <laughs> I'm excited. We're staying in a rental house at the moment. Oh, this is the house. From the outside, it looks like a giant dusty ice cube. Oh, wow. Look, Twiggy, look at the dogs. Look at the doggies. Look at the doggies. It is fantastic. Let's have a look around. Oh, it's great. It's a great space and it's very modern. Very, 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 very What's modern. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> this piece of art is it? Yeah, that's awful. That's really awful, actually. Let's go outside. It's wow. fantastic. <laughs> what a great view. Well, we're way up high, no? It's fantastic. This is going to be great. We're going to have fun here. Cheers, Fabulous. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Well done. So I'm here. I've got a lot to do. I don't know where to start, what direction to run in first. <laughs> But I have so much to do, it's going to keep me really busy. I am so happy with my new phone. It's changed my life. Ben and Maria Louise are my closest friends. I've known them for years and years and years. Maria Louise does my makeup and Ben does my hair. I love them even more for that too because they make me look good. I take a picture. Hang on. I'm going to send it to David. OK, one minute. We're not very good at this. I can't hold this pose forever. <laughs> I want to look good. I can't see your face. How's that? There you go. You look like you're slipping your armpit. Right. That's good. Coming up. I would put on a seatbelt if I was you. <laughs> and later, will Victoria be ready for David's arrival? This is what Paris Hilton does every single day. Huh. Isn't your new American personal assistant starting today? Yeah, maybe we should push her in the pool. <laughs> today, my American personal assistant is turning up. I don't know who she is, I don't know anything about her, um, but hopefully I'm going to really like her. <gasps> Shall I get that? Are you going to go? Or oh, am I going to go? Are you going to go? Yes, it's good that she thinks I'm kind of normal. You are normal. My bum. Well, I wouldn't normally do something like answer the door, would I? No. Oh. <laughs> the most important thing I'm looking for in a personal assistant is someone that's professional. She can't be too good looking. She can't be too thin. Um, it's all got to be about me. God, she's bloody impatient. We're coming. Oh. And posh can open doors too. Hello. Hi, how Hi. are you? Good, thank you. I'm how are you? I'm Victoria. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come through. Oh, bathing suit. Thank you. Yeah, we're sitting out trying to get some sun. Oh, wow. Come through. Yeah, leave them open. Okay. Time. Okay, so this is Renee. Hi. Hi. This is Ben. Oh, ben, Renee. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. This is Maria Louise. Hi. Hi. Louise. Hi, very Renee. nice to meet you. Yeah. Gosh, my legs are actually going brown. Yeah, my legs are burning. Those are awesome shoes. Thank you. I always think high heels are good because they really lengthen you out, you know. Uh, you should try getting some. Right. <laughs> as modern as these flat shoes can be, I would die before I wear some ballerina pumps. Um. Style tips. So, um, I'm not really very good at doing interviews, so we just thought if we just hang around and have okay. a chat. Yeah. Let me get my book out. Is there anything, uh, you know, we need to warn her about that you kind of need and stuff? What I need? We just need to make sure she's up to speak. You know, it's everything. good that you can do everything, you know, from if, if you turn up in the morning and David needs something, or the boys need something, or the dog needs oh. something, oh, that, or my mum and dad need something, or Ben and Rue Louise need something, or if just someone or anyone needs something. Okay. You see, normally I'm at home with children all day, doing the school run, doing everything. This is the first time I've actually sat down and kind of socialised. Um, am I going to ever be personally assisting David, or...? 
No, why do you want to? No, no, I mean, I, if what you do need you, me, like, what, do you find him attractive? Or? I, he's not, no, I, he's not ugly. Do you know what I mean? I don't mean, like, I'm really nervous. I'm sorry. Oh. So how about, <laughs> like, we, we do, like, a few months together. Okay. See how you get on. See how you like me. Great. Okay. Looking good? Oh. Nice yeah. to meet you. And you. Nice Thank you so you. much. I'm really excited. Good. In LA, everybody drives everywhere. And David and the boys are gonna be here in like three weeks and two days. So I've got to get my driving license so I can drive the kids about, can drive David about. What is um, an intersection? Like a... Uh, Crossroad. We need to translate this into English though. Okay, I'll try to do that. <laughs> I'm also going to take the car out and do some practicing of driving. I would put on a seatbelt if I was... We are, we are, we are. I was doing a really, really great job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've been drinking. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Just pull over right here. I guess you Put it in the park. Stick between Ben, quick. There's nowhere to stick. Do I put my brake on? Do I put the brake on? No, you're fine. Just no, 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 no. Keep the seatbelt on. Do you need more lip gloss? <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll down the windows. Can I show your driver's license, please? Yes, clear the street. Clear the street. It's a Spanish one. It's a what? Spanish one. Why don't you step out of the car, please? God. We'll promise we'll come and visit you. I was completely shocked and devastated because... I was wearing flat shoes. You're not allowed to drive with this license here in California. Really? You're not no, I'm just practicing. Pardon me? I'm just practicing, so I'm going to be oh, taking my test. Practicing? Does the passenger have a license? Uh, yes, it does. My advice to you is go down to DMV yeah. and get that in care for it. I still don't know what I did wrong. I didn't know whether to pose or get arrested. Where are we going now? The DMV. Get rid of the lane, get out of the way. Oh, I love your slippers. Look at those, eh? Fierce. Hi. Hello. Hi, can we help you? Oh, a driving license, please. Thank you. Step all the way back behind the line on the floor. Do you need that under your ears? So we can see you better. Maybe just do that like that. Ready? Hold it. Okay, hold that. Perfect. Good. Do I get approval? No. Oh. No, my hair looks flat. Can I do another one? This is the DNV. We can't. Uh, that's not. Nice. Oh, you don't do retouching. No. Okay, so now you need to take the law test. Hello. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. You Bill. are Victoria. Yes. Bill. Nice to meet you, Victoria. May I have a signature? Yes. You mean to write it to anyone? Oh, not on what you mean an actual. No, just for the text. Okay. <laughs> have a seat and good luck. change lanes. Victoria, do you need anything? Is it illegal to have one or more light on inside the car when you're driving? Yes. Excuse me. Oh my God, I thought you was going to hit I'm me sorry. then. I'm so sorry. I'm you, paranoid about people in my back. I saw you having a conversation with that lady. You're not over here asking no questions. No, no, no. I was asking about my hair. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. I'm watching you. I'm watching you too, Bill. Okay, I'm done. Victoria, how do you think you did on the test? I think I did okay. Have you driven a lot over here? Uh, I drove this morning and it wasn't a really great experience. Uh -huh. Congratulations. I passed. You passed. Right. Fantastic. Now you can go and get the Mercedes. Okay, I already have one. Actually, I've got a Bentley. Oh, oh, oh. well, let me have the Mercedes. Okay, you can have the Mercedes. I've got <laughs> right. a Bentley without a roof. Okay, but congratulations. Okay, thank okay, you so much. Luck. Thank you. I won't need that now. You can have that. <laughs> Up next. Has Tom Cruise tried to convert you to Scientology? Are there any celebrities that you don't like? Okay, what do you think about Paris? And later, will Victoria be ready for her family's arrival? your necessary oh, reading material. Okay, here we go. And you're in this one, page 72. Oh. oh. I think people probably see me as a miserable pouty bitch, to be completely honest. You know, just because of all the paparazzi pictures. 
when you come on a long flight and you feel horrible and your hair looks a mess. It's annoying that there's photographers there to capture you not looking great. People see these images and they get a negative impression. Vicky could barely crack a smile as she arrived at LAX airport. Victoria, have you seen what this dude's writing about here? Oh my god. Perez Hilton has this website where he basically just talks about celebrity. Posh. Did you? I spit in his food. <laughs> <laughs> his office is like at a coffee shop. We should go and see him. Yeah. He gets five and a half million hits a day. I saw some of the things he was saying about me, so I thought I'm going to hunt him down and I'm going to sort that bad boy out. Oh, this looks like fun. <laughs> I think I recognise him on the internet. Hello. <laughs> nice, I should stand up. You should stand up. Wow, that's a fierce tie you've got on there. Thank you. That's a major tie. Ben. This is Ben, my hairdresser. Nice. Can I get you something? He was actually more nervous than I thought he was going to be. I brought you a cookie. Oh, thank you very much. I want to see you eat it. Oh, no, I can't. I don't want to ruin my image. <laughs> I don't want to be seen smiling. <laughs> Having fun or eating, perish the thought. At least nibble. Not one near as pretty, because I can't be seen to actually eat. <laughs> okay, so what about some of the names that you've called me? Um, I think I may have called you an alien. Really? Hmm. Or... Yeah. Robot with really big boobs. Hmm? Yeah. With no feelings. With no feelings. Do they, really no feelings. Do they seriously? Yeah. Do they look that well, big to you? <laughs> do they really? No, really. Well, they're kind do, of squished they... in today. Oh. Are you wearing a bra? They're you not that big in the flesh. They're not that big in the flesh. So, um, people really want to know, has Tom Cruise tried to convert you to Scientology? No, he hasn't. Has he I'm, mentioned it? No, he hasn't. Not once? I know a bit about Scientology, but he has not tried to convert me, and I would love to say yes, she he has. Serious? Serious? I'm being, being totally serious. serious. Do you know what? You love him. I love Jennifer Lopez. She's a friend. She's right? She's, she seems like she has a sense of humor. It, does she? She's got she's a very a good sense of humor. Are there she any celebrities friends. that you don't like? Uh, Eddie Murphy. Oh, uh, okay. Beverly Hills. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I like that. Hey, what do you think about Paris? <laughs> There's a few girls around here that go out without knickers on. You know. Why do they do that? She wears some nice clothes, but other than that, I don't really know anything about her. <laughs> so what do you think? Are you surprised at what I'm like? Am I the same? Do I look more like a stewardess than you imagined I would? <laughs> I think that, um... I think you should get bigger boobs, smile less, right. and send me some nude shots of your husband. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> he was actually nicer than I thought he was going to be. Maybe I'll change your alien head to a crown. Okay, that's a good deal. We like that. <laughs> I hate the fact that I actually thought he was all right. He actually made me laugh. But then ask me in six months' time when he's writing more about me and he's being more me, maybe I'll change my mind. Thank you. Are we going now? We're off, yes. Right, hang on, let me get myself miserable before we go out. <laughs> Bye. For any animal produce in my temple. Do you like shellfish? I don't mind them. Really? I'll get it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Oh, good. How are you? I'm good. My name is Darren. I work with Suzanne Hughes, who's a local neighbor of uh, Victoria's here in Beverly Hills. Oh, oh, oh. And Suzanne sent me oh. to deliver this invitation <laughs> from uh, the Beverly Hills Socialites. All right. Thank you. Great. Bye. Drive safe. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Isn't this so pretty? Oh, my God. That is so nice. This is so American. I've seen Desperate Housewives. Please join me at my home for a lunch and welcoming you to Beverly Hills. Isn't that nice? That's really nice. I got invited to this socialite ladies' lunch. I have no idea what to expect, but I need to meet some friends, so I'm going to go. OK, I'm going to go and get changed. I'm excited to go for the luncheon because I do want to make friends and more to the point I want to make friends that have got children so my children can have friends. I really hope I fit in. Hey, 
Hi. How are you? I'm wonderful. Lovely to meet Hi, you. Hi, Suzanne. Step right in. <laughs> this is amazing. As soon as I walked in that room, I didn't know whether to laugh, cry, pass out, get on the next flight home. Did you decorate yourself? Um, yes, I did. Hi, Hi. everybody. How are you? Here's Victoria. Hi. These are my girlfriends. Carol Connors. Hello, lovely to meet you. And Lena, Lena Jolton. Hello. Welcome Hi. to Lena. Thank you so much. Welcome so, to La La well. Land. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to sit down? Thank you so much. You know, they were fabulous. They were glamorous. They were gorgeous. They were well-dressed. The lipstick was just major, major red lipstick. I've never seen lipstick like it. I must say that I loved so many of your songs. Thank you. And thank you so much for inviting me. I really appreciate because I don't know many people here, so this is very kind of you. Thank you. We're really excited about you being here. And thank you. Cheers. 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 Yeah. How come you moved to Los Angeles? Um, because my husband's going to play football for the Galaxy. You know, the football team. I remember seeing it on TV. I think he uh, made something like $60 billion to come play for the team. Yeah, something like that. I'd never, ever talk about money. So when the ladies started talking about money, I got, like, really uncomfortable. It's like 22 million or something. It's only 125 million. 60 billion dollars. Gets me itching. I itch when I get uncomfortable. You know, the arm hairs go up and I get a bit. I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> that is the most beautiful ring I think I have ever seen. It's beautiful. Diamonds are girls. One lady at the luncheon, she had on like a powder blue trouser suit. She was major. Well, I think of myself as, as a little mermaid. Great. She'd obviously had a big time blow dry. She was fabulous. I would love to do my dolphin call for you because okay. nobody okay. believes I can do it, <laughs> do it until I do it. Who wants to hear it? Okay, okay. I've heard it. Okay. You're not going to believe it. And then you you're going to go, it. oh my God, she really does do it. That's fantastic. Yeah, it means welcome to LA, Victoria. <laughs> I just figured, okay, you know what? There's only one way to go here. Let's get them all drunk. They're going to become even more eccentric, even more fun, even more fabulous. And they did. Let's go, Cheers. 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 I couldn't believe in my own mind that this was for real. It's my eyes. <laughs> and Barbie Benton's boobs. But thank you. I mean, I don't know if this is normal American behavior. All the men in my life, may they never meet my husband. <laughs> but it was great. I mean, they live a major life. And when I'm older, I hope that I'm like that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come back soon. Bye. First of all, you're wasted. <laughs> Up next. Today we are house hunting. Uh, that's 10.6 million. 11 million. So this is 17 million. I love LA! And later. David and the children are going to love it here. I am so excited to see them. David at the cinema with the boys. I miss them so much. Like, I woke up this morning, you know, and just went got that empty feeling. Everything I do, I do for David and the boys, so it's it's really hard when I'm away. Brooklyn phoned me this morning. He kissed his, his girlfriend. Aww. I said, what kind of girlfriend are you looking for, Brooklyn? He says, I want someone who looks just like Mummy. Yeah, I haven't been away for a long time like this. I'm really homesick, and I find shopping quite therapeutic, as ridiculous as that sounds. You like this? No, that's horrible. Put that back. It's quite nice in the shorts. How major is that? Look, these cute little Ralph Lauren shoes. Shoes can make you feel so good. It's such a weird thing. They're quite nice. Is that major? That's major. <laughs> Loving that. Oh. Should I just get it? 
get it. Have you got my pass? Yeah. I'm just going to pay. I'm going to pay for it. Have you got my pass? Great. Okay. So, thank you so much. Thank you. Can I get one of those costumes? Look at these major shoes. Aren't these fabulous? <gasps> Aren't they great? Yeah. But these are a little bit too small. Look. There's a lot of toe cleavage going on in them. Toe cleavage? Hello. Hi. 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 Okay. Hi. That looks cute. Thank you very much. Um, I just want to let you all know that because we're going to be looking for houses, mm -hmm. I have arranged for like an earthquake specialist to come. He's going to like an earthquake specialist. I've never even thought about earthquakes. How are you? Hi, I'm Jean. I'm Victoria. Lovely to meet you. You know, in England, we have no idea what an earthquake is. What do you do in an earthquake? Do you, like, hang on? Duck, cover, and hold. If an earthquake struck right now, probably the best place would be underneath this sturdy table. How are you going to react when the earthquake hits? What are you going to do? <laughs> Remember me, Louise, duck, cover, and hold. Okay. You're going to hang on as tight as you can, duck, cover, and hold. I would never have moved to LA if I'd have known this kind of thing went on. Duck, scream, and hold. Or duck, hug, and hold. Can you see my knickers? Duck, shelter, and hold. Duck, cover, and hold. Okay, you guys ready? We're ready. All right, this is the world's largest mobile earthquake simulator, so let's go for a ride. Okay. What is this? Maybe he's going to play some TV. I didn't say anything about just TV in here. Yeah. It's his little home. <laughs> There's something quite seedy, don't you think? I feel like a dirty place. old man invited you back, kind of thing. Yeah. It's like nice earthquake! <laughs> Everything you've learned, duck, hold on, shelter, whatever it is, you just don't think about that. You just think... <laughs> what happened to duck cover and hold? <laughs> That's what it's about. That bad? In a real earthquake, I'd be really, really scared. Like I said, because where are the children? Where's David? No. <coughs> so everything I learned today, I've got to have at the back of my mind when I'm looking for a house as well. I just want to make sure that you know how much all the houses are, so then they can't change it when I get there, because honestly, some of them that I've seen, there's a special prize for Beckham. The house is built from the ground up. Oh, uh, the house is normally built from the ground up. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I want a light house. I want a bright house. I want a happy house. Victoria, these uh, doors slide back. And child friendly as well. Oh my God, that's a death trap. Be careful, be careful. Oh my, I couldn't even consider it with the children. Yeah. I'm nervous. So How about, does this go when an earthquake happens? Yeah. yeah, what about an earthquake? Just take a look at that drop. If you have a few drinks and you have some friends out here and you're all dancing, Woo! someone's going to dance right off the edge there. <laughs> I love LA! Do you want to take a picture of me here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to the next one. I'm a bit giddy from the spinning. Oh, it's exhausting being fabulous. On the it looked like somebody with no taste had just come in and thrown up everywhere. I sound like I'm being really fussy, and I am. It's very 80s, but we're talking about such a lot of money. You know, it's got to be perfect. It's like a porn TV. <laughs> This is a great house. I love that fireplace. It's very much my taste. 
I like this. Now, I've seen so many houses, and as soon as I saw it, I knew that it was perfect. This is a home built in 79, and then shortly after that, it was bought by Lionel Richie, who lived here for a number of years. Great. Well, I love the flooring. Yes, there was stone here before, and he put in Lionel distressed Ritchie wood. laid the parquet floor. That's what I heard. Really? Whilst he was dancing on the ceiling. <laughs> okay. okay. That's it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like walking the plank. You can see from the city all the way to the ocean. Now tell me, what famous people live around here? DiCaprio lives around the corner and um, Spider-Man. I love that. I love that <laughs> Spider-Man lives down the road. <laughs> Spider-Man lives down the road in one direction. Batman lives in the other direction. So I figured if it's cool enough for the, all those superheroes, it's going to be good enough for second opinion because it's the nicest house that I've seen to date. Up next. So I need to come up with a plan to fool the paparazzi. Felt up. Very believable. <laughs> <laughs> then later, exclusive footage of the Beckham's arrival. I love you. I want to make this move as stress-free for the whole family as I can. But I miss them, you know, this is the longest I've ever been away from home and to be honest, I'm struggling a bit, you know. Hello. Hello. I really, really miss David. Normally when you move, you do it as a, as a couple, but David hasn't been able to do it because he's been so busy. Where are you? How's the hotel? So I'm a little bit sad. Okay, I love you. So I want to get out the house and I want to go and buy him a watch. As a little kind of welcome to America gift. So the tough thing is, is that everywhere I go, there is normally paparazzi following. If he saw a photograph of me going into a certain shop, it would ruin the surprise. Come on, let's just go, let's just go. We're going to have to try and find like a decoy or something, because he is so going to know what's happening. I don't really want him to know what I'm buying him. So I need to come up with a plan to fool the paparazzi. So I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a sex shop. What do you do with this? Does anyone know? Buy a doll, dress it up as me. You think people are going to believe that that's me? Yeah. Well, can we do a makeup a bit? Put my glasses on it and then take it for a drive. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thank you. Bye-bye. And let the press follow the doll. Of it's almost as if they modelled these dummies on me. Can we belt up to the chair? Belt up. She does not spat <laughs> Where's the wig? Oh. I still use quite nice techniques of cutting into the hair to encourage more texture and movement. <laughs> she kind of looks stunned. She looked quite startled. You know, if you're doing what you do to these blow-up dolls, it's not a nice space that's looking back at you. Oh, I've got it in her eye. <laughs> I think that looks good. Yeah. Let's put her in the car, see, you know, if, if she looks believable. So long as her hair stays on, very believable. Apart from the fact she's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Vicky B. I have no idea why anybody would think that I'm a blow-up doll. The bottom line is, is that it worked. The paparazzi followed the doll all day. The plan worked. The doll got photographed. It was great. It was really great. And I was going to be able to go out in peace and quiet. Like that. I like that. I love that. David's got his gift. Welcome to America, and I'm so happy with it. So shall I wrap this oh, one up for you? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and someone's got a blow-up dog that they can take home and do whatever they want to do with it, as so long as I get my dress back first. Okay, so this is kind of cool. I just got off the phone with the LA Dodgers, and they want you to throw the first pitch at one of the games. Well, they want me to actually 
do something. Like throw the first pitch, like they always have a celebrity throw the first pitch at a game. And they want you to do it. I think that's pretty cool. But what if I make them lose? No, well, I don't think your pitch is going to count. Oh, okay. I don't know too much about baseball. They wear tight trousers. One member of the team actually wears some weird, like, mask, which looks like what we saw in the sex shop. Well, I actually have the first people I think that could help you. I, need, I do need to learn, because if not, I'm going to look silly. Okay, good. You should probably wear sporty heels. They're they are quite sporty. These are my driving shoes. So Renee has told me that she's got these guys who are going to teach me how to play baseball. So I'm looking forward to meeting them and getting a good lesson of what to do, what to wear. So we get to the baseball field and I'm like looking out and all I can see is all these like little people. I was like, how far away are they? And then I realised actually they're close. Do you know what? They're kids. Up next. The worst thing that could happen at the Dodgers is if everyone goes, what are you doing, you stupid tart? Who am I throwing it at? And finally, the Beckham's first moments in America. I got asked to throw out the first pitch with the Dodgers. So Renee has told me that she's got these guys who are going to teach me how to play baseball. Boy. Hi. Okay, I'm throwing out the first pitch at the Dodgers game. Is that cool? Yeah. So I need you to teach me how to do that. Because I don't want to look silly. So someone tell me a bit about baseball. There's nine fielders, three outfielders. If you hit the person with the ball, you're the thing called a ball. And you swing the bat. And you hit the ball, it's a great job. And it's not a foul. Hit the ball, you run. Okay, okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Oh, in the Dodger game, it's going to be a lot of Okay, okay, so who's going to... Okay, go on. Why do you talk funny? Why do I talk funny? She's from England. I'm from England, yeah. Why are you wearing heels? What, do you not like them? Should I not wear heels, do you think? No. No? no. Cleats. No. Really? Someone show me what okay. I'm going to do, and then I'm going to have a go, OK? You know, I've never said I'm sporty. Do I put, like, fingers in this thing? Never. I doubt you're going to need the mask or the padding. Throwing. Not good. I have quite weak arms. Who are you booing? The kids were great. They taught me a lot. Oh. Oh, I caught it! You know, I'm realistic. I'm not kidding myself that I'm going to be good at this. I'm doing it because it's a huge honour to be asked to do it. That was a great one. Very good. I'm not keen on the glove. I think someone might have sweated in it. My shorts keep going right up my crotch. I just don't, I can't do this. Can't you, can't? Oh, you can just... Come on. Oh, no, my trainers are going to get dirty. What? Who is it? What's your name? Victoria. What's your name? Victoria. Hello, Victoria. Hi, I'm Victoria. Hi, lovely to meet you. You know, you were a beautiful lady, but you're even more... Beautiful wearing that Dodger jacket. Oh, no. thank you very much. I hope I don't let everybody down, though. That's the you thing. Don't let anybody down. If he can catch it, you've done the job. Okay. Even if it's on the bounce. What's that mean? It's the ground. Oh. That's a bounce. Okay. Are you smiling? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Thank you so I'll much. I'll be catching your first pitch, so good luck. Okay. Thank you very much. When I phoned David, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to throw out the first pitch. Everyone in America says this is a really big deal. This is great. And he says, don't embarrass yourself, which I will. What if I can't find the ball to throw the ball? Who gives me the ball? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Dodgers are pleased to welcome a very special guest to tonight's game to throw out the ceremonial first pitch. Help us welcome to America, Victoria Beckham. Tell me when. Ready? 
Imagine if they all just go, get off, what are you doing? You stupid tart. Imagine. goodness that was incredible oh david would be so proud i feel that i've been really welcomed in america good luck in la thank you people want us to be here they want us to do well hey how are you it didn't bounce right <laughs> i really thought the one of my silicones was going to fly out my armpit then I'm just really glad I've spent this time just trying to figure things out, really. It's been a really amazing roller coaster ride. I learned quite a lot. It's the ground. Oh. That's a bounce. Okay. What is an intersection? Uh, crossroads. Oh, oh okay. So duck cover and hole. Okay. Can you see my knickers? I found a house which I am so excited about. I love that Spider Man lives down the road. <laughs> I got my driving license. Why don't you step out of the car, please? I met some major new friends. <laughs> yes, it means welcome to LA. I think you should get bigger boobs. Go up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've done everything that I need to do for Dave and the boys' arrival. So I decided that I wanted to go back to Europe to pick them up so we could arrive together in Los Angeles as a family. We are so excited about coming to America. great to be reunited with David because I kind of made this transition on my own you know and we're excited about our new life in America I love you the United States is just major God bless America can't wait for Thanksgiving when's that have you heard this you know what they do Thanksgiving here they get loads of pretzels mash them up and shove them up turkeys bums and serve it up what? And what? That's what they do for Thanksgiving. Right? Yes. Right. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, my God, she's here. Are you drunk? <laughs> Are you drunk? That is a... <laughs> I know that face anywhere. Mind the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, cuteness. Hi. Uh... <laughs> I wouldn't do that, you know. She does eat her own poo. Oh. What? 